That is huge. Big Wave Surfing Invitational. Uh, it is a really historic uh, surfing competition at Waimea Bay. It's only run nine times since uh, the first one in, when was it? 1984. The conditions have to be specifically right. The front wave has to be consistently 20 feet or, or over and the uh, conditions have to be right as well as the size. Um, and so they've green lit it for today, and uh, I'm headed up. It's I'm going super early. They've uh, expected around 30 to 40 thousand uh, people attending this event. They've invited big wave surfers from all over the world. Uh, John John Florence, the previous champion, the last time it was held in 2016, as well as people like Kelly Slater, Jamie O'Brien. Uh, big names in the surfing industry. One of the cool things I'm excited about with this uh, this eddy, I heard it's the first time they've invited female surfers to come be a part of it, and so that's a really cool thing to be able to witness. Not just to see the 10th eddy at Cal in history, but also uh, to see the first one with female surfers uh, invited and involved. Uh, the reports have said that people should expect to spend anywhere from three to four hours in traffic. Parking at Waimea on a normal day, non-surfing day, is already really tight because the parking lot's tiny. So I'm just expecting, I mean it starts at 8, I'm leaving at 4.30, 4.40 and I'm expecting to have a hard time with parking. So I'll update as my day goes on. Eddie Ekao 2023. All right, so here's the update. On my way from the South Shore, I was actually surprised. I made it all the way to Haleiwa and past Haleiwa actually with no, no traffic. I mean, you can still see traffic still it's still moving, but as you can also see, barely after 5 a.m. and there's already cars parked on both sides of the street all the way down the Kamehameha Highway here. Uh, and I thought about still chancing it. My big giveaway was seeing the traffic coming from the bay parking on the side. So just to give you some idea where I am, I'm just about a little over a mile from the bay. Google Maps says it's only a nine minute drive, but about an hour walk. Actually, probably halfway between Haleiwa and just before uh, Lani Akea, Turtle Beach, Lani's surf spot. So I got a nice hour-ish walk to the bay. The good news is I'm not alone. <laughs> As you can see, there are already a lot of people making the trek this morning. Aaron texted me and said he left on his bike from Laie at about 4.30. So we'll probably get there about the same time. It's about an hour bike ride for him and about an hour walk for me right now. <laughs> so this is going to be awesome. I'm grateful that I packed the things that I did. I didn't know how close I was actually going to get or how far I'd have to walk. So I did bring my backpack. It's my AirPods for a walk. I brought a water bottle, sunscreen, uh, my solar phone charger. I'm actually pretty surprisingly well equipped for a, a good walk to to the edit. Maybe I'll get there and I'll be bummed out because there'll be parking, but I, I can't imagine if there's already people parked out here, especially the traffic coming from the bay that are already parking along the road. I can't imagine that uh, <laughs> that I would have gotten lucky. I mean, this is, this is the eddy. It's the 10th time it's run since the 80s, you know, 1984, the first one. I'm sure this is as good as it's gonna get and probably pretty good compared to what other people are gonna find later in the day. So I'm <laughs> feeling, feeling pumped about, about this, about the eddy, about just being present at the, at the bay for such a beautiful event, honoring Eddie at Cal and the tradition of big wave surfing. So I'll keep updating as I go. All right, update. I am at the bay. I've actually passed all the craziness. Um, entrance to the bay's over there. Up on the hill as I was coming down, 
you should have seen <laughs> the setup some people have up on the hill uh, people camped out obviously overnight family up there that's got a canopy tent over in this perfect spot overlooking the whole bay and they brought out like a 60 70 inch flat screen TV showing I think it's a live stream of Surfline so they're gonna get the replays and the in-person they've got like a grill out there people sleeping it's uh, it's a big deal I thought about taking videos but it got kind of crazy man man highway is pretty narrow buses and traffic and people parking so I got past the craziness before I want to do another update but now I'm walking past Bay a little bit uh, Aaron my big brother is coming down this side I'm just gonna keep walking until I see him and we're gonna experience the eddy together so I'll keep I'll keep going update look what I found uh, yes I found uh, the brother Aloha see the eddy I caught today we're gonna go to the beach where the eddy I caught is happening I don't know how much <laughs> that's true so you can kind of see the sun starting to sort of say hello to the world over there. What are your expectations for the day? I'm gonna go to the beach. Hey, those are my expectations too. Okay, that's all. Don't want to wear the battery down. <laughs> I feel like that we just did the same thing. Yes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, bring it down. All right. Here. Here comes the swell. Here comes the big wave.
Uh, we've seen it all today. Uh, tenth, the 10th tenth of Eddie ever. First one with female surfers, which is amazing. I found a bucket to stand on. Well, Aaron was standing on it, and then when he went home, he gave me his bucket. I'm up so tall by this tree. Uh, I've been up close and personal with some of my very favorite surfers. John John Florence walked right by me. This is the surfer area where they enter and exit after heats. So the heats are 50 minutes. Surfers can catch a maximum of four waves. They're judged on the size of the wave and how well they ride it, style, all that stuff. It was crazy this morning. Tens of thousands of people. Uh, the internet estimated 40,000 and I think that was accurate. It's dwindling now. But it's a beautiful day at Waimea. And uh, there's like 30 minutes left in this heat, and then we got the awards. This is Luke Shepherdson. Oh my god. That was massive for a That was a big win. Praise every single contestant who paddled out. Because just paddling out today was a feat in itself. And congratulations to all the contestants. Second place, and the winner of 2016, John John Torres. $8,000. Luke Shepard, $10,000. All right, well, that's a wrap on the 2023 Eddie Aikau Invitational. I, I think every expectation anybody could have had for this thing has definitely uh, been exceeded and met and then added upon. won't speak for the, the surfers, but for me, it seemed like even to the contestants, the awards and the placements were secondary to just the experience of being in the eddy. You know? We saw it all. We saw 60, 60 footers, 40 footers, 30 foot party waves. <laughs> Uh, the first female surfers in the eddy. It was an awesome day. Uh, now I'm gonna start my two mile walk. Maybe make it home tonight. I think one of the most beautiful things about being here is uh, everybody was just in awe of what was happening. And, and I think even more than that, everybody was, of course, in awe of the surfers and, you know, just their sheer athleticism and skill and experience. But I think the coolest thing was everybody was also, if not more so, in awe of the ocean and what the ocean's capable of. Just its sheer force and power and its role in nature. I mean, look at this. I mean, it, this is a professional sporting event, but it's it's unlike any other professional sporting event that exists. You know, when you go to an NBA game or a Major League Baseball game or an NFL game, or whatever, you are rooting for one team to win and one team to lose. But here, I mean, they're professional surfers. That's what they do for a living. They're competing against each other. But the, the feeling of, of compassion and empathy and memorializing Eddie Aikau and who he was and his family and the surf community, uh, people from all over the world and, and being more in awe of the art of surfing, being more in awe of the ocean than we were of the people and what the people were doing was amazing. You know, surfers were incredible. It's a unique experience to go to a professional surfing event, professional sporting event and not be rooting for or against people and just really just rooting for the sport, rooting for the community, and having a beautiful experience. And that was really cool to experience and feel. I'm so glad I live here and that I gotta come see the Eddy. And hopefully it's not too long uh, before they run it again. <laughs>